Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. The Top 10 Cryptids of Indonesia Number 10, the Orang Pendik. The Orang Pendik, also known as the short person in Indonesia, is a cryptid or mythical creature that is said to inhabit the dense forests of Sumatra, Indonesia. It is said to be a small, bipedal hominid, standing around 3 to 5 feet tall, with a muscular build, covered in reddish brown or black fur, and possessing human like features. Reports of the Orang Pendik date back to the early 19th century, with locals and visitors to the region reporting sightings and encounters with the creature. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that the creature gained wider attention in the West, when a number of expeditions were mounted to search for and study the Orang Pendik. Despite numerous expeditions and sightings, concrete evidence of the Orang Pendik's existence remains elusive. Some researchers believe that the creature could be a new species of hominid, possibly related to the Homo floresiensis, also known as the Hobbit of Indonesia. Others suggest that it could be a surviving population of an extinct hominid, such as the Gigantopithecus, a large ape that once lived in Asia. The lack of concrete evidence has led to skepticism among some researchers and outright disbelief among others, however, Eyewitness accounts and local legends persist, and the search for the Orang Pendik continues. One of the most notable expeditions in search of the creature was led by Debbie Martyr, a British conservationist who has spent decades studying the wildlife and ecology of Sumatra. Martyr's team spent several weeks in the dense forests of the Bukit Baris and mountains, where many sightings of the creature had been reported. During their expedition, the team found numerous footprints that they believed belonged to the Orang Pendik, as well as hair samples that were later identified as primate in origin. However, they were unable to capture any definitive footage or photographs of the creature. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence, the legend of the Orang Pendik remains a compelling and fascinating mystery. Its alleged existence speaks to the richness and diversity of the natural world, and the possibility that there are still undiscovered species waiting to be found. In conclusion, the Orang Pendik of Indonesia remains one of the most intriguing and elusive cryptids in the world. While there is no concrete evidence of its existence, the persistence of eyewitness accounts and the fascination of those who search for it suggests that there may be more to this story. Number 9. The Ehul The Ahul creature is a cryptid that is said to inhabit the rainforests of Indonesia. It is described as a large, bat-like creature with a wingspan of up to 12 feet and a body similar in size to that of a small human. The creature is said to be nocturnal and is often reported to emit a loud, blood-curdling scream. The first recorded sighting of the Ahul creature was in the early 20th century by a Dutch researcher named Dr. Ernest Bartels. He was traveling through the jungles of Indonesia when he heard a loud, terrifying scream that he described as being similar to the sound of a woman being murdered. The locals he was with claimed that the sound was made by the Ahul creature, which they said was a large bat-like animal that lived in the region. Since Bartle's sighting, there have been numerous reports of the Ahul creature, particularly in the remote areas of Indonesia. Some have described the creature as having dark, leathery skin and glowing red eyes, while others have claimed that it has feathers or fur. Despite the many reports of sightings, however, no conclusive evidence of the Ahul creature has ever been found. Some cryptozoologists believe that the Ahul creature may be a type of unknown species of bat, while others speculate that it could be a surviving pterosaur, a type of dinosaur that was thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago. Others have suggested that the Ahul creature may simply be a legend or a misidentification of a known animal, such as the fruit bat or the flying fox. Hard to believe the skeptics I know. Whatever the truth may be, the legend of the Ahul creature continues to fascinate and intrigue people around the world. Its elusive nature and mysterious behavior have made it a popular topic of discussion. 
among cryptozoologists and enthusiasts of the paranormal. Whether or not the Ahul creature truly exists, its legend serves as a reminder of the many mysteries that still remain to be uncovered in our world. Number 8. The Tuyul The Tuyul is a supernatural creature, or spirit in Indonesian folklore, believed to originate from Java. It is a small, mischievous creature that is said to bring wealth and good fortune to those who possess it. The Tuyul is often depicted as a small child or baby with red eyes, pointed ears, and sharp claws. According to legend, the Tuyul was once a human child who died at a young age, and was subsequently transformed into a spirit. It is said that the Tuyul is able to enter homes and steal money and valuables, but only for its owner's benefit. Those who possess a Tuyul are said to be able to command it to retrieve money and other objects, and the Tuyul will bring these items to its owner without fail. The Tuyul is believed to be attracted to the scent of money and is often kept in jars filled with coins and bills. In some cases, people will even leave food and other offerings for the Tuyul to keep it happy and ensure that it continues to bring good fortune to the household. While the Tuyul is primarily associated with wealth and prosperity, it is also said to have a mischievous side. Some legends claim that the Tuyul will occasionally play pranks on its owners or steal items for its own amusement. Additionally, there are stories of people who have mistreated or neglected their Tuyul only to suffer misfortune as a result. Despite its mischievous nature, the Tuyul is widely revered in Indonesian culture and is often seen as a protective spirit. Many people believe that having a Tuyul in their home can ward off evil spirits and bring good luck to their household. It is not uncommon for people to seek out a Tuyul in order to gain its favor and blessings. In conclusion, the Tuyul is a fascinating and complex creature that occupies a unique place in Indonesian folklore. While it is primarily associated with wealth and prosperity, it is also known for its mischievous nature and ability to ward off evil spirits. Whether or not the Tuyul actually exists is a matter of debate, but its influence on Indonesian culture and belief systems cannot be denied. Number 7. The Kuntalanic Kuntalanek is a mythical creature from Indonesian folklore, which is believed to be a female ghost or spirit that resides in trees. The term Kuntalanek is derived from the Javanese word kunti, meaning woman or lady, and lanang, meaning man. Kuntalanek is also known as Pontianek or Madianek, depending on the region of Indonesia. The legend of Kuntalanek dates back to ancient times when Indonesia was still ruled by the Hindu Buddhist kingdoms. The creature is believed to be a restless spirit of a woman who died during childbirth or was murdered. The Kuntalanik is said to be vengeful and seeks revenge on those who have wronged her. The Kuntalanik is usually depicted as a beautiful woman with long black hair and a white dress, and she may appear as a normal woman or as a ghostly apparition. She is also known for her ability to shape shift and take the form of various animals, such as a bird or a cat. According to legend, the Kuntalanek is most active during the night, especially during a full moon. One of the most popular beliefs about the Kuntalanek is that it is associated with trees. She is said to reside in large trees, especially those that are old and withered. The Kuntalanek is believed to lure people into the forest by mimicking the cries of a baby or by calling their name. Once she has lured her prey, she will appear in front of them and scare them to death. The Kuntalanek is also known for her ability to curse people. It is believed that if a person disrespects or insults the Kuntalanek, she will curse them and bring misfortune to their lives. The curse of the Kuntalanek is said to be very powerful and can affect generations of a family. In Indonesian culture, the Kuntalanek is a popular subject for horror movies and novels. Her legend has become a part of Indonesian folklore and is still believed by many people in Indonesia. The Kuntalanek has also become a popular Halloween costume in Indonesia and is often seen at parties and events during the holiday season. In conclusion, the Kuntalanek is a fascinating and terrifying creature from Indonesian folklore. Her legend has been passed down for generations and is still believed by many people in Indonesia. The Kuntalanek is a reminder of the power of folklore and the enduring popularity of myths and legends. 
Number six, Bobby and Geppet. Bobby and Geppet is a legend that has been passed down through generations in Indonesia. It is a folklore that tells a story about a group of people who perform black magic in order to become rich quickly. The name Bobby and Geppet literally means the pig that flies in the Javanese language and refers to the supernatural creature that is believed to be the source of wealth for those who practice this ritual. According to the legend, those who want to perform Bobby and Geppet have to follow a strict set of rules. They must first find a black pig that has never been touched by sunlight, and then perform a ritual to ask for its help in obtaining wealth. The ritual involves reciting certain mantras, and offering the pig various items such as money, rice, and cigarettes. Once the ritual is complete, the pig will fly away and bring back wealth to the person who performed the ritual. However, there is a catch. The person who performed the ritual must keep the pig's existence a secret, and they are not allowed to spend the wealth that the pig brings back for seven days. If they break these rules, the pig will disappear and the person will suffer from misfortune and bad luck. The legend of Bobby and Gepet has become a popular topic in Indonesian culture, especially during times of economic hardship when people are looking for quick and easy ways to become wealthy. However, the practice of Bobby and Gepet is generally frowned upon and is considered to be dangerous and unethical. Many people believe that those who practice black magic will eventually suffer from negative consequences and that wealth gained through such means will not bring true happiness and prosperity. There have been reports of people claiming to have practiced Bobby and Gepet and experienced success in obtaining wealth. However, these claims are difficult to verify and may be the result of coincidence or other factors. It is important to note that the practice of black magic is not condoned by any major religion or cultural group in Indonesia, and those who engage in such practices may face legal consequences. In conclusion, Bobby and Gepet is a legend that has been passed down through generations in Indonesia. But the practice of black magic is not condoned by society. While some people may claim to have experienced success in obtaining wealth through these means, it is important to remember that true prosperity comes from hard work, dedication, and ethical practices. Number 5. The Raksasa The Raksasa, also known as Rakshasa, is a mythological creature in Indonesian folklore that is often portrayed as a fierce demon or giant. This creature has a significant place in Indonesian culture, particularly in Java and Bali where it is widely believed that they exist in the spiritual realm and can affect people's lives. The Raksasa is usually depicted as a giant with sharp teeth, long claws, and a ferocious appetite for human flesh. It is said the creature can shape-shift into various forms, including animals, plants, and even humans, making it difficult to detect its presence. In Indonesian mythology, the Raksasa is considered a malevolent being that brings misfortune and chaos. It is believed that the creature can possess human beings, causing them to act erratically or even harm others. The Raksasa is also said to be responsible for natural disasters such as floods, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. Despite its frightening reputation, the Raksasa is also known for its intelligence and cunning. According to legend, some Raksasa are even capable of using magic and spells to manipulate people and events to their advantage. In Indonesian culture, the Raksasa is often depicted in traditional art, such as Wayang Kulit, which is shadow puppetry, and Toping, which is mask dance. These artistic expressions showcase the creature's fierce and intimidating nature, while also highlighting its importance in Indonesian folklore. In addition to its cultural significance, the Raksasa has also influenced modern-day media in Indonesia. Many horror films and novels have featured the creature as a central antagonist, capitalizing on its reputation as a terrifying and malevolent being. In conclusion, the Raksasa holds a prominent place in Indonesian folklore and culture, representing a malevolent force that can bring chaos and destruction. Despite its frightening reputation, the creature's intelligence and cunning have also made it a compelling figure in traditional art and media, whether viewed as a symbol of fear or respected as a powerful entity. 
The rack saucer remains an enduring and significant aspect of Indonesian mythology. Number 4. The Gender Rule Genderuo is a mythical creature from Indonesian folklore that is believed to be a malevolent spirit or demon. It is said to inhabit the deep jungles and forests of Indonesia and often takes on the form of a tall, dark, and hairy creature. In Indonesian mythology, Genderuo is often associated with supernatural powers and is feared by many. The legend of Genderuo has been passed down for generations in Indonesia, and it has many variations. Some versions describe Genderuo as a powerful shapeshifter that can take on different forms, including that of a human or animal. Other versions portray Genderuo as a mischievous trickster that enjoys playing pranks on unsuspecting people. According to Indonesian mythology, Genderuo is known for its ability to attract and seduce women. It is said that Genderuo preys on women who are alone and vulnerable, such as those who are pregnant or menstruating. Genderuo is also believed to be able to impregnate women through supernatural means. The origins of the Genderuo myth are unclear, but it is thought to have originated from the Javanese culture of Indonesia. The name Genderuo is derived from the Javanese language, where it means hairy giant. In some parts of Indonesia, Genderuo is also known as Leek or Layak, which are other names for malevolent spirits. Despite its reputation as a malevolent spirit, some people in Indonesia believe that Genderuo can be appeased through offerings and rituals. It is common for people to leave offerings of food, flowers, and incense at places where the Genderuo is believed to reside, such as in the forest or at the foot of a tree. These offerings are intended to appease Genderuo and prevent it from causing harm to humans. In recent years, there have been reports of sightings of Genderuo in Indonesia. Some people claim to have seen the creature in the forests, while others have reported hearing its eerie howls at night. These sightings have sparked renewed interest. In the legend of Genderuo and have led some people to question whether the creature really exists. In conclusion, the Genderuo is a fascinating and complex mythical creature from Indonesian folklore. Its reputation as a malevolent spirit has made it a feared creature in many parts of Indonesia. But it is also seen as a symbol of the country's rich cultural heritage. Whether the gender rule actually exists or not, its legend will continue to be passed down through the generations and will remain an important part of Indonesian culture. Number 3. Sundal Belong Sundal Balang is a popular ghost story from Indonesia, specifically from the regions of Java and Bali. It is also a tale that has been passed down from generation to generation, and it has become a prominent part of Indonesian folklore. The story has also been adapted into various forms of media, including movies, television shows, and books. The Sundal Balang is a female ghost who is said to be very beautiful but also very dangerous. The name Sundal Balang translates to the woman with a hole in her back. According to the legend, the Sundal Balang was a young woman who died tragically during childbirth. As a result, she is said to haunt the land, seeking revenge against men who have wronged her or who have disrespected women in general. The Sundal Balang is typically depicted as a beautiful woman with long black hair and a white dress. However, she also has a large hole in her back, which is said to be the result of the difficult childbirth that led to her death. The hole is often covered by her long hair. But when she reveals it, it is said to be a gruesome sight. The Sundal Balang is often said to appear at night, usually near bodies of water such as rivers or lakes. She is said to seduce men and then kill them, draining them of their life force. Some versions of the story also suggest that the Sundal Balang can take on the form of a bird, making her even more elusive and difficult to catch. The legend of the Sundal Balang has been around for centuries, and it continues to be a popular part of Indonesian culture. In addition to being a source of entertainment, the story also serves as a cautionary tale, warning men to treat women with respect and to be careful when they venture out at night. In conclusion, the legend of the Sundal Balang is a fascinating and spooky tale from Indonesia that has captivated audiences for generations. It is a story that has been adapted into various forms of media, and it continues to be a popular part of Indonesian folklore. 
While the story may be scary, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of treating women with respect and being cautious when venturing out at night. Number 2. The Ebugogo The Ebugogo is a fascinating and enigmatic creature of Indonesian folklore that has captured the imaginations of locals and foreigners alike. According to legend, the Ibugogo are small, hairy, humanoid creatures that inhabit the forests of Flores, a remote island in eastern Indonesia. This entry will explore the origins and cultural significance of the Ibugogo, as well as the scientific speculation surrounding their existence. The legend of the Ebugogo dates back to the prehistoric era when humans first arrived on Flores. According to local folklore, the Ebugogo were once a tribe of human-like creatures who lived alongside the early human settlers. They were said to be small in stature, with long arms and hair covering their bodies. They were also known for their agility and hunting prowess, as well as their ability to mimic human speech. Legend has it that the Ebugogo were eventually driven into the forests and mountains by the human settlers, who feared and mistreated them. Over time, the Ebugogo became more reclusive and mysterious, until they eventually disappeared altogether. Some legends suggest that the Ebugogo were wiped out by disease or natural disasters, while others claim that they still exist in remote areas of Flores. Despite the lack of concrete evidence for the existence of the Ebugogo, the legend has captured the imagination of scientists and cryptozoologists. Some have speculated that the Ebugogo may be a surviving species of prehistoric human, such as the hobbit-like Homo floresiensis that was discovered on Flores in 2003. Others have suggested that the Ebugogo may be a form of undiscovered primate, such as a species of small ape or monkey. Regardless of their origins, the legend of the Ebugogo has become an important part of Floresian culture and identity. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in the Ebugogo, with some locals and researchers calling for the creature to be officially recognized as a part of Indonesia's cultural heritage. Whether or not the Ebugogo ever truly existed, their legend will remain a lasting piece of Indonesian folklore. And now it's time for our final entry of the day. Number 1. The Kuyang The Kuyang is a mythical creature from Indonesian folklore that is believed to be a female spirit that takes on the form of a flying head. It is said to prey on pregnant women and children, sucking their blood and consuming their internal organs. The legend of the Kuyang has been passed down through generations and continues to be a source of fear and fascination in Indonesia. The Kuyang is said to originate from the island of Java. Although similar legends can be found throughout Indonesia and other Southeast Asian countries. According to legend, the Kuyang was once a human woman who practiced black magic and made a pact with evil spirits in exchange for power. As a result of this pact, she was transformed into a flying head that could detach from her body and fly through the night sky in search of victims. The Kuyang is said to have long hair and a long tongue that hangs out of its mouth and is often depicted as having fangs or sharp teeth. It is said to emit a piercing shriek that can be heard from far away, and its appearance is often accompanied by the sound of flapping wings. It is said to be most active during the night, particularly when there is a full moon. The Kuyang is believed to feed on the blood and internal organs of women and children, and is said to be especially attracted to newborns. It is said to be able to enter houses through small openings and can even slip through keyholes. The only way to protect oneself from the Kuyang is to use various magical charms and amulets, or to smear one's body with certain oils or ointments that are believed to repel the creature. Despite the fear that the Kuyang inspires, it is also the subject of many stories and legends in Indonesia. It has been featured in literature, art, and film, and is often used as a symbol of fear and the supernatural. The legend of the Kuyang has become an important part of Indonesian folklore and continues to be a source of fascination for many people. In conclusion, the Kuyang is a fascinating and terrifying creature from Indonesian folklore. Its legend has been passed down through generations and continues to be a source of fear and intrigue in Indonesia, despite its terrifying reputation. The legend of the Kuyang is an important part of Indonesian culture and folklore. 
and is sure to continue to capture the imaginations of people for many generations to come. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It would really help me to continue making more content in the future.